guys. You might be hearing a airplane in the background, but that's okay. Uh, welcome to a new uh, little, little Minecraft notes. We'll, we'll keep calling these things notes, right? <laughs> Even so, I made all thumbnails for it already, so you, you've already seen it all. But what we're checking out today is how the beacons work in the nether. And as you see, the beacon works. It works, guys. And we can make a small beacon over here. Oh, we can just put it here. But why does this one not work? Well, the fact is, is that if we go all the way to the top here. That <laughs> I actually really like that, but like, um, it's kind of weird. Um, it has to go all the way to the bedrock ceiling because apparently bedrock is transparent as you can see right there uh where did i frick <laughs> where did i uh plug that hole there we go so but as you can see you can put beacons in another and it makes this weird little uh uh tile thing too but you can put in another you just have to um, dig all the way to the bedrock and yeah that's pretty much it if we do the same for here we can see that uh that we can basically do the same thing but it's gonna be a smaller beacon and you know what small beacons do uh, they don't do much okay yeah you see it just activated now think about this is that you're gonna have to dig all the way up and Sometimes it's good to have another ceiling all the way up, right? But you have to get there as well. <laughs> Which could be so many blocks that you're going to have to pillar up. And gas will spawn around you. Everything will just um, completely uh, ruin your day <laughs> in another. And yeah, that's one thing. But let's also talk about how do beacons work in general. So this is your item that you use to uh, confirm whatever you selected and as we're gonna show right now uh, let's just get rid of uh, the other three levels you can only get um, speed or haste with no regeneration so with every level that we add we add this we get jump boost and resistance as you'll see okay yes and then we do this and we'll get strength. Now, even with this, you can't get the full beacon effect because regeneration only appears at the other next level. And then you can just, I wonder if this works. <laughs> okay, no it doesn't. You can go in here, select whatever, whichever um, thing you want. Actually, let's not put the iron ingot in first so you don't accidentally use an iron ingot that you just saved for this. So you can choose haste Haste is usually the most, uh, most useful. Oh, uh, oops, didn't reset that. Okay, it's now, uh, it's now, uh, full. And you should always check that. You should always check that if, th that this is full, um, that this is not, uh, not blacked out, grayed out. And then you could check that, and for secondary power, you could choose secondary power, you could not choose secondary power, but oftentimes not, it's, it is nothing, um, you do not waste anything by going secondary power, it's always here. So you can choose haste too, which is all the same for this, all the same for these. You get the, you get the two times effect. And that is actually the most for like, for every single, uh, enchantment that you can make a potion of in the overworld. So you can choose haste, haste two or regeneration. You'll get two effects, but you get lower, lower haste. So that's a trade-off, and you don't get re regeneration, which is just like playing the game normally, right? Except uh, now you got a haste two effect uh, for its range, and then you press confirm after you put in your payment, and you get that. And we'll go ahead and do that for here. Uh, we can choose speed. We we'll get regular speed, and as you can see, the the enchantments, I mean the the beacon powers, actually do work uh, in the Nether. So, we can also test the radius of this. So, 
right now we're on the um, on the z-axis actually let's go on the x-axis because it's more of a uh, it's 60 right now so we go 60 um, we're looking for haste 2 so 60 okay we're going negative I only went this way because it was more cleared out let's see if it goes 80 blocks right haste 2 okay haste 2 is falling let's uh let's not do that let's go to zero blocks okay okay let's see if nine blocks does anything okay we're dropping now so it seems the range is about 50 in diameter maybe so I mean in radius excuse me so I think that's even less than a conduit as well uh, I might make a conduit video but that's it's probably all I'm going to say for uh, this, this little episode. So let's recap over the things that we learned. You need a you need a clearance to the bedrock ceiling because bedrock is apparently transparent. And and in order to activate a beacon power, you can switch this at any time. By the way, let's uh you just need to activate another form of payment and confirm. So now we'll get uh, strength and the haste will go away. So. You do that as well. We learned how to confirm beacons. We learned how uh, how all these layers worked, and what kind of uh, what kind of things you can get out of them. Resistance is pretty much explanatory, as you're resisting stuff. And jump boost too. You're able to jump two blocks, uh, one and a half if you're at if you're at regular jump boost, and what two blocks if you're uh, if you jump boost two. Strength two increases strength. Speed two increases speed. Haste two. Um, increases mining speed like uh, I'm not I'm in creative right now but uh, you would actually be able to mine like stone you would actually be able to mine stone uh, way faster than you can uh, than you can punch out creative blocks because also it'd be less strenuous because you're clicking all the time when you're breaking creative uh, creatively so yeah that's something so I guess that's gonna be it for uh, this little this little mini tidbit, huh? See you guys in the next one, and we might explore conduits, right? If I feel like it. <laughs> if I don't feel like it, you won't get that video anytime soon, boy. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye bye.